With the final deliveries of the Foundation series taking place, and with all the rumours about it, I think it's time we talk about the wedge-shaped fridge on wheels. When Elon Musk unveiled the Tesla Cybertruck in 2019, the world was stunned. In a world with EV manufacturers creating egg-shaped cars in the name of quote-unquote aerodynamics, its sharp, angular design looked like something out of Star Wars. This was not just a truck. It was a statement. A statement that said, the future is here, with its unbreakable windows. Uh, we'll get to that in a second. Stainless steel exoskeleton and bold promises of towing capacity, speed, and affordability. The Cybertruck seemed poised to revolutionize the automotive industry. But now four years later, the story is very different. Let's take a moment to appreciate the design. That bold, angular look, it's polarizing, yes, but undeniably cool. That's definitely part of why the Cybertruck was so heavily hyped. The Cybertruck doesn't blend in. It definitely stands out. Its exoskeleton is made from ultra-hard 30x cold-rolled stainless steel designed to be almost impenetrable. And then there's the technology. The Cybertruck boasts Tesla's futuristic steer-by-wire system. No mechanical linkages, just pure electronic control. This innovation offers precise steering, improved safety, and a driving experience like no other. Add to that the embedded technologies like Autopilot, the advanced infotainment system, and over-the-air software updates to make the truck better than before. But let's rewind a bit, back to where it all started. The Cybertruck's journey from concept to reality was ambitious. Tesla's design team set out to create a vehicle that was not just a truck, but a redefinition of what a truck could be. The reveal was nothing short of spectacular. The world watched in awe as Musk demonstrated the truck's bulletproof glass, which famously shattered on stage. Despite that mishap, the Cybertruck generated immense hype. And within days, Tesla was flooded with pre-orders. All it took was a $100 refundable deposit to secure your place in line. Hundreds of thousands of people eagerly handed over their money, dreaming of owning this futuristic truck. But as the months turned into years, that dream started to feel more and more distant. The wait dragged on and on. Production delays, design changes and supply chain issues pushed the Cybertruck's release further and further into the future. What was once promised for 2021 slipped to 2022, then 2023. And for many, the excitement began to wane. What was supposed to be a revolutionary vehicle became a long and frustrating wait. The cause of the wait was those bold promises, because the initial designs were radical and the engineering challenges were immense. Manufacturing a vehicle with a stainless steel exoskeleton, something no other automaker had attempted at scale, required developing entirely new production techniques. At the heart of this effort was Tesla's Gigafactory in Texas, where the Cybertruck would be built. The factory itself was a marvel, but as production ramped up, so did the problems. As the first production models rolled off the line and trucks finally reached customers, 1,000 years after it was introduced, issues began to surface. Whistlin' Diesel, a YouTuber known for his extreme vehicle tests, just recently put the Cybertruck through a series of brutal, actually scratch that, very brutal challenges. And the results were alarming. The Cybertruck's rear giga casting, a crucial structural component, snapped clean off when attempting to pull a stuck Ford F-150. This isn't just a minor flaw, it's a catastrophic failure in a situation that any truck should be able to handle. The issues didn't stop there. The truck's plastic door liners detached from their steel frames during a very, very simple door slam test. And when subjected to a high pressure wash, the charging port malfunctioned leaving the truck unable to charge properly. And then, there's the frunk. You'd think a feature as basic as closing the frunk lid would be foolproof, right? Wrong. Multiple users have reported that the frunk lid can close unexpectedly. And if your fingers are in the wrong place. Well, let's just say it's a painful reminder that the Cybertruck isn't perfect. A recent software update was supposed to fix this issue by making the frunk lid more responsive to obstructions. But the problem is, it is still happening. Tesla's fix hasn't resolved the issue, leaving owners wary of using it without extreme caution. Then, 
there were issues with the performance. The towing capacity, which was supposed to be game-changing, didn't quite live up to the hype. Some owners reported that the truck's actual towing capacity fell short of Tesla's promises. And let's not forget about the range anxiety. Towing heavy loads significantly reduced the vehicle's range. Officially, we got 90 miles of range while towing 11,000 pounds. A problem that Tesla had not fully addressed. The Cybertruck pulling on a Porsche 911 while pulling a 911, though crazy, was debunked by tests run by various enthusiasts and YouTubers. And what about that steer-by-wire system? While innovative, it has its own set of problems. Users reported a lack of road feel, making the driving experience feel disconnected. For some, this new technology was more unsettling than revolutionary. As these issues piled up, the Cybertruck's initial luster began to fade. The truck, that was supposed to be bulletproof, seemed to be showing cracks in its armor. Deemed overrated by a lot of enthusiasts, the truck seems to have lost its popularity with most people and is now mostly bought by celebrities to stand out. But perhaps the most significant disappointment, the deviation from Elon Musk's original promises. When the Cybertruck was first announced, Musk promised a base price of just under $40,000, an affordable option for the masses. But as production began, that price point became impossible. The actual cost for most models, much, much higher. And those promises of record-breaking towing capacity and speed, they didn't fully materialize either. Sure, the Cybertruck is fast, but not as fast as originally promised. And the towing capacity? Not quite what was initially advertised. So, what happened? Why the deviation from the original vision? Some speculate that the costs of developing such a unique vehicle, combined with the challenges of manufacturing at scale, forced Tesla to cut corners, or, at the very least, readjust expectations. And what does this mean for Tesla's future projects, like the highly anticipated Tesla Roadster? Will it follow the same path as the Cybertruck, starting with grand promises, but ultimately delivering something less? The Tesla Cybertruck was, and still is, a bold experiment in automotive design and technology. Its failures don't erase its achievements, but they do serve as a reminder. When it comes to revolutionizing an industry, sometimes reality doesn't match the dream.